In October 2020, the UK government set up six projects to focus on important areas of COVID-19 research. The COVID-19 Longitudinal Health and Wellbeing National Core Study is investigating the short and long-term consequences of the pandemic for physical and mental health, as well as its social and economic impacts. Experts from leading UK institutions are working together to answer key questions, including how has health and social care been disrupted by the pandemic and lockdown? Did government grants and schemes such as furlough help well-being? How was mental health impacted by the pandemic? Are COVID-19 vaccines safe and how well do they work? What are the short and long-term effects of catching COVID-19 for physical health, including long COVID? A large part of our research is focused on long COVID. We want to know what is long COVID and how is it best diagnosed? Who is more likely to develop long COVID? What effects does long COVID have on health, the ability to work and family life? To answer our questions, we will collect information from different sources, including data from new secure health record platforms and from studies, called longitudinal studies, that have already tracked the health of large numbers of UK people over many years, sometimes since birth. This study unites many of the UK longitudinal population studies for the first time. These studies have collected lots of pandemic and pre-pandemic information on people's health, social and economic circumstances. And through comparing this information from before and during the pandemic, we will be able to understand the impact of COVID-19 and long COVID. To tell us more about what long COVID is and its effects, we will also invite some participants who have long COVID to attend a specialised clinic for a body imaging scan to look for any potential damage to vital organs, such as the brain, lungs and heart. In every stage of the project, we are involving members of the public with experience with, or who have cared for, people with COVID-19 and long COVID, to ensure that the research is relevant to and benefits people suffering from these conditions. The findings of our study will provide vital information to the government via the UK's Chief Scientific Advisor and Chief Medical Officer, organisations responsible for developing treatment guidelines, such as the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, and healthcare providers to help them make decisions that will lessen the impacts of the pandemic on the long-term health and well-being of all those both directly and indirectly affected by COVID-19.